little over a week ago, Ralph Sims was in imminent risk of ischemic stroke. He presented with classic signs of carotid artery stenosis. Ralph's internal carotid artery on the left side of his neck was found to have 85% blockage. That was causing transient ischemic attacks, TIAs, sometimes called mini-strokes. Untreated, the condition can lead to serious disability or even death. Today, thanks to a procedure performed at Wellspan, Ralph left the hospital the day following a minimally invasive procedure with a clean bill of health and a significantly reduced risk of stroke. Carotid arteries are located on each side of the neck and extend from the aorta to the base of the skull. These arteries supply blood to the brain. There is one main carotid artery on each side of the neck, and each of these divides into two major branches, the external and the internal carotid arteries. The external carotid supplies blood to your face and scalp. Your internal carotid supplies blood to the brain. Buildup of plaque in this artery is called carotid artery disease. In some cases, clots may form on the plaque as well. If a piece of this plaque or clot breaks off or embolizes, it can enter the blood vessels in the brain. The result is often ischemic stroke, which can cause brain damage, leading to serious disability or death. The cardiologists at Wellspan routinely correct the problem with carotid artery stenting. We began performing the procedure here in Wellspan early in 2006 and have done in the ballpark of 120 of these procedures at this point in time over the last couple of years. The procedure takes place in the cath lab. The patient is awake and alert. A local anesthetic is applied to numb the catheter insertion area. Then the narrow areas of the arteries are located by injecting dye and reviewing live x-rays called fluoroscopy. The dye does not allow x-rays to pass through, so the physician is able to clearly see arteries and uses the live x-rays to guide them to the blockage. Through a needle puncture in the groin or arm, the doctor inserts a catheter guided to the location via fluoroscopy. Next, a small wire with a filter near the end, similar in appearance to an umbrella, is placed beyond the blockage. This symbolic protection device, or EPD, is inserted to catch clots or debris that may break away from the plaque during the procedure and cause stroke. The physician then widens the blockage by inflating a balloon at the site of the blockage. Using another catheter, the physician guides a compressed stent to the same area in the artery. A stent is a mesh tube that is expanded in the artery, keeping the walls more permanently separated. Once the stent is in place, the physician releases it. The stent then expands to fit the artery. A balloon catheter is once again introduced to further expand the stent. The entire procedure typically takes under one hour, and the results are immediate. And the recovery part was minimal. Uh, the biggest portion you're watched in the, the CCU area uh, because you have a plug in your leg, and once that has been given time to set and that they're sure the stent's working and everything is fine there, that was only like two, maybe three days, and that was it. I was done. We have the experience and the expertise here to be able to do these and allow our patients to stay home uh, when they're having these procedures, not have to travel, not have to have family traveling uh, to get these procedures done and we're able to do them uh, very effectively and, and very safely and getting results just as good as any of the large university places that are doing them as well. It was uh, <clears throat> extremely easy, extremely easy for me to do.